Well, in just a half an hour from now, President Biden talks to the nation in his State of the Union address, and by far, it may be the most important speech of his still young presidency. You couldn't have a more timely moment uh, to address the nation. In a world of chaos, the American presidency often walks alone. People are scared, and the president is stepping into that pulpit tonight to provide some assurance to a country where maybe half, the, half of Americans don't trust them, don't support them, and think ill of them. The Humphrey School's Larry Jacobs says this was supposed to be the night for Joe Biden to reset his agenda, recast his goals. Most of it now blown up by Russian tanks. Joe Biden ran on a domestic agenda. He talked about health care, he talked about free college, he talked about providing a base for uh, Americans who are slipping out of the middle class. Vladimir Putin has taken that from him. He is now virtually a wartime president. But it presents the president with the opportunity to unite the country, or as Senator Amy Klobuchar says, the moment to remind Americans about America. You know, I hope that he focuses on, you know, we've all been through hell in our country, and a lot of times it's divided us and kept us, we've been disconnected from each other. When you see the people of Ukraine, what they've done, it makes you value what we have. Yes, the president is expected to talk about inflation. He'll propose a federal minimum wage of $15 and push Congress to expand child tax credits, all as he tries to reassure the world that America is fighting for others, not just itself. Joe Biden has got to step into that moment and provide assurance that the state of the world is in his hands and that he is a leader in that world, while also reminding Americans that things are better in terms of economic growth, in terms of six million new jobs, in terms of COVID being in a better spot, though obviously uh, far from cured. And you can see the president's speech in its entirety live tonight on Fox 9. Coverage starts at eight o'clock and followed by Fox 9 News at nine. And then